Yes. I think the problem is here, but also in our country. In Tunisia also. Yeah, because yeah. I think the, the movie, the people that went after that, they hadn't even seen the movie. Just the title made them feel uncomfortable. There's yeah. a lot of taboos yeah. on both sides. I mean, here it's the axis of evil, and we're still living in that. And on our side, it's like there are certain topics you just don't touch. Right. Mm -hmm. No matter how educated you are, it's like you can talk about everything, but don't talk about God. Right. And that's still very present in Tunisia. I think Nadia kind of went against that, even amongst the friends of us. Some topics you do not go close. So if it's people that had the exposure to different parts of the world and that went over, but they don't own people that never left Tunisia for them. I think there was a massive crisis of identity in the Middle East, and somehow religion filled the vacuum for a lot right. of people. It, there were two language, two arguments going on in the film that we have here in America. That is, uh, Tunisia is a Muslim country, but Tunisia can be a secular country. Mm. It, it, in America, it's not just the debates. They believe that this is a Christian country. You have some people who really go to war mm -hmm. about that argument. This is a Christian country. And so, does, it, it, you know, the film is very important in that sense. Can we have a country where the majority is, uh, uh, is Islamic and still have a sec uh, secular system? Yeah, because because, that seems you know, to frustrate the, the men in the film. The, the young men, they keep coming here and there. They, but we are a Muslim country. But we are a Muslim country. They seem to be... Fr so, what would you tell them? I, I think, for me, secularism is the base of the democracy. And also in the United States, you know, in the first article of the Constitution, yeah. it's not laicity like in France, yeah. but you know, yeah. they, they decide to separate yeah. religion and politics. Yes. And this is the base of the democracy. After you can say you are Catholic, I know here you know it's written in the dollar, in God we trust, and the the president you know make the sermon on the Bible and everything. But in the law, you you don't have the right to refer to the religion, mm -hmm. and the civil law it's something very important. And for Tunisia, I don't know why in the Muslim countries we cannot apply the same principle, you know? Because in America, everybody can understand yeah. that. So, but they are religious. Well, I, I, I know I that they, they, they don't agree with it. The, yeah. But, you know, they are yeah. all religious. No, I know they are all religious, mm -hmm. but the politics decide one day, you know, I think it was Jefferson or something like that, they decide that we have to separate politics Church and religion. And after, you can believe, you can say, in God we trust, you can say everything, but when you go in front of the justice, you never can refer to the religion, you know. And this is very important, because in Tunisia we still have a lot of yeah. laws, you know, in just, because you don't have equality between men and women, you don't have uh, the right to don't yeah. make Ramadan yeah. if you don't want, you know? Yeah. And this is, the, you can't be free, Absolutely. really, yeah. if you don't have civil laws, you know? It's, and I don't understand why this principle is, could be applied in West countries and not in Muslim countries. Not in Israel. And not in Israel. I came to, but Israel think that they are like, you know, well, they are well, secular. I, I went, you know, I went to Tel Aviv. It was a taboo in Tunisia, and for me too, because for a, something like 20 years making movie, I refused to my distributor to send my movies in Israel, na na na, da da da, like all, you know, this position with, right. uh, you know, supporting Palestinian cause and. I still support, you know, Palestinian cause. But after the revolution in Tunisia, I was invited by the French embassy. And I told them, let me two, two weeks to, think about, <laughs> to it. think about that. You know. It was the first time in my life. 
because I went to Palestinian territories many times to present my movie because I got French passport, but never, I, I refused always to go to Tel Aviv. So, okay, and after two weeks, without speaking to anybody, nobody, not my father, not nothing, you know, and I said, okay, I'm coming. And I knew after what's happening in Tunisia with my movie, it was, you know, like, you know, it kill me, you can history. kill me, you know, <laughs> I'm going to Israel. But I, and I wrote, you know, a, a long article to the Tunisian uh, friends mm -hmm. that uh, they were supplying me to don't go to Israel. And, 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 and also in the, you cannot imagine, in Lebanon, you know, mm -hmm. everywhere. And I said, I'm going to Israel to speak with the people, not with the government. I'm not agree, I still not agree with the government. And I still, you know, against of, the, of this state of Israel because it's colonialist and everything. So I went to Israel and we make, you know, the, the, the screening and we make the debate and somebody asked me about the democracy in Israel. And I said, oh, thank you for this question. <laughs> because I can now make, you know, my coming out with what I think. Because you thought uh, I'm coming in Israel because I agree with you. I'm not. And, you know, I saw something like half of the public, you know, went out. Because they are not agree with me. Right. But in the Arab countries, they never passed this video because it was, you know, uh, recorded, and I put it on Facebook, and never, oh. no, nobody, you know, it's very difficult, difficult to practice the democracy, yeah. really, yeah. No. and for our people, it's very difficult to understand that the democracy, it's to, it's first of all, it's debate, you know. We have to debate. Well, we are not using about that, you know. Uh, yeah. Since the independence, you know, we have detect dictatorship in all countries right. in Africa. Yeah, that's true. That's true. I remember when I got the prize in what? in Ouagadougou. Yes. I, it's three years before, and I was saying, I hope one day all Africa will be free and democratic, <laughs> you know. And, one year after, you know, the they, they <laughs> kick off <laughs> Kampaore. Kampaore, yes, right, yes, so absolutely. It's coming, no, but yeah, yeah. I know, you know, regarding our life, personal life, it's really going slowly, really. It's yeah. And one day I decide, okay, I'm fed up about Tunisia, I'm fed up about, you know, this struggle, yes. and mm -hmm. politics struggle, really, really I'm fed up. And, uh, but I know the history is, you know, maybe in 100 years in Tunisia and all Africa will be secularist and democrats. But for the moment, I can't believe we are we are going for the with that. Uh, it's terrible what is happening, and uh, I'm not optimistic at all now. Al yeah. Also for Tunisia. Questions, comments.